So I'd like to show you how to set up Sentry uh, for a Django REST project. Uh, basically, Sentry helps us to... Uh, let me just take a quick one, Sentry. So uh, you can see it's a self-hosted and cloud-based error monitoring that helps software teams discover, triage, and prioritize errors in real time. So our uh, it helps uh, us to you know capture our errors uh, at the back end or for anything really um, it supports quite a number of uh, languages i'll just take you really quick here and uh, i just say sentry so our uh, if i go uh, right here you can see are supports quite a number of languages javascript python php and all that so uh, my main interest will be in django so i'll be setting it up for django because i want to really capture the errors are uh, uh, at the django back and i'm using django rest so let's get into it uh, so for starters i've already set it up and i created an account and you can see are uh, and i already have one error which i tested um so uh, before we continue uh, showing you this uh, let me get th uh, you through how to uh, configure this so it's you know straightforward uh, pretty straightforward uh, just a minute uh, so what happens is uh, when we go to the Django documentation pretty quick um, I pip install I'm using a virtual env uh, right here so I just did that um and then uh in settings.py i did that I just get to it quickly settings.py i can see i did that already uh yep yep so uh then uh verify by you know setting up by just uh doing this uh, so this will trigger uh, an error so that you're able to see whether your setup works so I did that just added this and you know just this and when I triggered my um, I just want to show you uh, what happened uh, so when I went into uh, localhost uh, um, just wait a minute localhost uh, sentry ah forgotten that sentry debug yes so so that generated an error so uh, when I go oh sorry So, uh, so our, you can see my error comes here. I really executed this twice. So uh, you can see it shows two events. Uh, it shows uh, two users because I'm logged in also in the incognito mode. Uh, so our, just quite a number of interesting things here. Shows you where the error came from. You know, uh, shows you quite a number of things. Uh, what type of error it was and quite a number of other stuff so i'll be using this for you know error monitoring on my back end and, and i'm pretty happy that uh, uh, i'm able to find the errors here and uh, dig into uh, really quick yep uh, thank you so much